Right, today's video is about cord crochet and latch hook crochet. Latch hook crochet. But I'm going to specific, specifically be doing a double petal bracelet. Now I've done this bracelet before, but I'm going to do it again. First starting off with a latch hook and a single latch hook. This is a latch hook that I use to teach all the time with children and with adults of course. And I've made a, a chain approximately the same length as my pen. I think it's about 30 to 35 chain. So what I'm going to do to make a double petal, I've already shown you how to do a single petal in the previous video, so now I'm going to do a double petal. That, If I hooked in there, that would give me a single petal, and I would put my, fing my finger on the two and do a slip stitch. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up another petal there. So I've got two petals, okay? Well, this one's a little bit bigger than that one, but that doesn't matter. It could, petals can be any size, so if you want to do them the same, you can. If you want to try and get them the same, that's fine. Or you can do them differently, like I have there. So, yarn over, and then you've got three, you can see those, three loops on the hook. So you're yarning over and pulling all through all three. This is why it's good to have a latch hook to do this with. You pull it through all three, just give it a little yank to make it tight and then yarn over and make your next stitch. Okay, so now we're going to go and make another double leaf, that's, uh, sorry, double petal. So that's your double petal. And to do another double petal, you're gonna have to do that long chain again. Now, when I was teaching this before, and if you're teaching young children or beginners, you might like to just do it like this where you Bring it over the top. Oops, that doesn't work, does it? Yarn over first, of course, and that will happen. And it does happen to a lot of children, they just forget to yarn over like I did then. So yarn over, and then with your, pin I call it pincer fingers, and you can feel the metal there. Pull it over the end and bring it back to your busy finger. And that's how to make a chain. But of course, I'm used to doing this quite quickly now, and yarning over and pulling through is in the same movement. So I'm going to carry on here until I've got a chain length as long as my pen. So not quite there yet. If you're doing this for the first time, don't worry if you're going a lot slower than I am. I'm just doing it quite quickly for demonstration purposes. So let's have a look. Yes, that's about the same length as my pen. A good measure if you've got something to measure with it's a good idea and now I'm going to hook in twice so I've got the one loop on the hook control it with your finger and I call out the busy finger because it's got that job to do it's, it's got a lot of controlling to do so you're going to hook in once to make the first pet petal and twice to make the next petal if you've done a shorter length chain length it, it may come out quite close to to this first set of petals there and that's okay you can leave this gap between them yarn over and pull it through all three loops on the hook and then off you go again I'm going to just do this once more without this in the way so you can see hopefully my video is coming out fine there so if we go again, I'm going to do this quite quickly so we've got that chain length. And this time I'm perhaps do it a little bit shorter and you'll see how the two petals can become quite close to the previous two. Okay, and you can make them smaller or bigger so we'll see how they turn out. Don't be in too much of a rush to get them how you want them, just make, see how they turn out. So I've got a shorter length there than my pen this time and I'm going to make two petals the similar size by hooking in once 
and then hooking in again and then I've got that little space there between the two sets and then I've got the two petals on there three let's have a look yeah three loops on the hook and I'm going to yarn over now when you yarn over don't get your petals mixed up with your yarn because that can happen if you're coming around here and it's got to be sort of in line with these three loops so just check that before you yarn over you see that again just check that that's not going around the loop there the petal there it's going in line and then pull it through all the three loops on the hook it's a little yank do one more chain and then carry on with your chain like that and let's have a look at those double petals now okay so you could make this into a bracelet I make learning bracelets and I would call this one the double double petal bracelet and that's using let's put it that way that's using a single hook now because I'm doing cord crochet now I'm going to show you how to do this on a double latch hook so this is my double latch hook you may have seen it in the previous video when we was doing the single petal and now we're going to try and have a go at doing a double petal bracelet or double petal cord with the cord so we've got your cord length there same length as I've done it previously and it's the same length as the pen whoops I'm knocking my bit my my iPhone never mind okay so now I'm going to control that first loop there on with my finger there and I'm going to pick up one of these loops here and put that with my underneath my finger there so I've got two loops on there and a single petal appearing and I'm going to do the same again you want to be, to be fairly big for your petal because you've got your cord now rather than just a chain single chain length so pick up that stitch there if we can put that with there so you've got the three loops on this side you've still got the one loop on the other side but you've got three loops on this side so make sure you can control those and then we're going to yarn over again don't get that mixed up with your petals yarn over and then you're going to pull all of those through like that might need to just push them round that one see how we get on with that They're not quite gone through there we are so you pull them all through we'll demonstrate that again I think I'm going a bit slow with that then you're going to make your chain again sorry you're going to make your cord so you've got one let's do this one two three four five and of course this has got to be long enough to make the two petals so it's got to be at least as long as the pen which is about 35 of these yarn overs Oh, I don't know what you would call them because we're not doing a chain anymore we're making cord it's like a, a double chain happening all the time so that can be done quite quickly when you're doing this as you can see it was quite fiddly when I was picking those up just now you do get used to it and um, let's make sure I'm in the, vid the camera Okay, so we'll have a go again and see if we can make it not quite so fiddly. One of the things that you've got to do to make sure that go, that this these loops go over the end of the hook is not to do it too tight, and I think perhaps I was doing it a little bit too tight on that previous one. So let's have a look. That's that's nearly the same. Just a few more. And uh, let's have a go at picking up. Now remember to control this loop here otherwise it, it can go all over so control that there pick up whoops catching the camera again it's the 
fiddly bit. Put that on. And then again. We're working towards making a flower, of course, so we're doing two petals this time, and then we'll be able to show you how we can make a flower. And, and it's, it's quite unique and it's a nice way of doing flowers. Right, so I'm pushing this up a bit further now. Right there, I don't want this, I don't want this hook to get caught in the cord. So I've yarned over, and at this point, I'm just going to pull down on these a little bit, and make sure that they're not all loose, and make sure that they all go through together. That's much better than it was last time. So it's no no worries the fact that we've got one there that didn't quite work quite so smoothly, because when you're doing this, you do get you do get used to it. So now. Remember, it's quite loose yarning over, and then you will do another pair of uh, flowers, uh, petals in exactly the same way as I have done there, and carry on. If you want to do little tiny petals, you can have a go at doing that. You won't need to do quite so much space, but I think to start off with, especially if you're teaching children or having a go for your first time, Leave some space in between the pairs of petals, like I have done there. Okay, so that, let's get that in the camera. There are your petals, pairs of petals, two petal. And that would be your two petal bracelet. And we've got the other one there. Let's see if we can put them both in the camera. Okay, this is with the latch hook, this one. And this one is with the cord maker. And uh, what I would like to do now is, especially if you've watched this video, comment and say how you're getting on with your latch hook crochet, whether you've started it, whether you're interested in it, and whether you crochet yourself. Tell me something about where you come from and uh, whether or not you've managed to get one of my um, double latch hooks. And that, that if I know that, then I'm just a bit ahead of you and show you next how to make your flowers. And that that will be great so um, subscribe press the notification bell and like it's really good if you can like and uh, I've got two more subscribers to go before we've got our magic number I'm aiming for at the moment which is 500 subscribers so do do subscribe if you can and, and comment if you comment I will get back to you okay so this is Roslyn Hill and I'm signing off now just read this to you before we go. It's cord crochet, latch hook crochet, and this is the double petal bracelet. Bye for now.